Yeah. We got the wrist pins in there. Got the wrist pins in there. Upgrade them for the turbo. Yeah. And then we'll put the oil squirters in there. Help keep top the pistons cool. Yep. Cool. So you should, should be good. So what, what what do you think realistically, man? What do you think this, this engine will, will, will can withstand? What do you I think? Mean the, I mean, the block can stand up over a thousand horsepower. Okay. Easy. Yeah. But it's a, it depends where you, you know, if you're going to turbo it, where your tuner, you know, yeah. how you. Well, we're, we're going to actually. Most of them can boost them up to about 19. I'm really, all I'm looking for is about a thousand off the crank. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, you start going more than that, the only problem you come against, of course, yours ain't that bad because of the, the bore, but uh, they start splitting cylinders. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but with this one here, we still kept it a small bore, so right. we're good on that. So, right. it leaves just a little bit thicker. Because we're, what, what is that, like 30 over? Yes. 30, okay, yeah. yeah. And we're, we're, we're 408? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Got it. And then we did the, the D pistons, yes. the K1 rod, rod and crank. crank. Okay, yeah. Yeah. upgraded, all balance. Uh, uh, all balance. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're good to go. We put a good chain on it, good oil pump. Uh, just depend on what heads. Which, which uh, run like a? You probably gonna need like a 72 cc head or something on okay. there because you got the flat piston. Right. Because with that blower, you have low compression. Right. Right. Which which <clears throat> which oil pump did you put on there? You know, a lot of I, I would probably run that. A lot of people used to run that 10, 3, 5, 5 belling pump. So yeah, that's, that's what that's what we're doing. We, yeah, we're doing the high volume. You can run that or you can run the GM high volume pump okay. or high pressure pump. Yeah, I, I think. Not so much high volume, but high pressure. High pressure, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's what uh, Rick that'll was saying. Hold you, that'll hold it, that'll hold it, maintain your pressure good. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I'm excited, man. All I, right, uh, too, man. We can't wait till you get it going. Man. Yeah, cool. absolutely, man. All right, guys. Hey, I'm over here at the uh, Honeycomb Hideout. I am uh, unloading our 408 stroker uh, engine uh, that we're building for uh, our C10 build, the, the ZL1 C10. So uh, if you've been following the channel, we built this 408 stroker that we picked up from uh, Gulf Tech Engines. Uh, our friends over at uh, Nemesis Motorsports recommended Gulf Tech Engines for the rebuild uh, and the assembly of that. So we started out with a 60 block, uh, Gen 4 60 block, and of course, boarded over uh, 30. And then of course we went with the, uh, the K1 rods and crank should be nice and stout uh we originally went with a, a, a je piston but then we realized we had a little bit too much compression uh we had a flat top je piston so we switched out those je pistons and went with the dss uh pistons which have a little bit more of a dish to allow for uh lower compression because those, those other pistons were a flat top piston and they uh it had our compression way up past uh past the ten and a half uh, mark so we need to get it down back to closer to like a nine and a half to ten uh, compression so um, hopefully this does the trick uh, this thing also has some other goodies we also opted to do uh, oil squirters in this so it's really going to help uh, keep those uh, pistons nice and and, uh, and lubed and uh, so the oil squirters that's a feature that you find on the LSA engine from the factory but it's something you can also add uh, as a sort of aftermarket upgrade to your 60 block as well so we did that uh, oil squirters we also upgraded the wrist pins on the on the uh, pistons as well so it's a high uh, high uh, uh, heavy duty wrist pin so that's going to give us a lot more uh, strength and rigidity uh, you know whenever you put that much power and your drivetrain there's always going to be a weak link that could potentially fail and so we're just trying to eliminate as many of those weak links as possible so the upgraded wrist pans was definitely a must-have so the next step is to get this installed in our uh, our ZL1 C10 this engine will be mated with a LSA blower um, and a nice beefy cam and a nice pair of heads nice set of heads hopefully this thing will probably make somewhere around 
a neighborhood of about 700 to 800 horsepower when it's all tuned and uh, we've got it exactly dialed in where we want it. So um, let me get this thing unloaded, guys. So here she is. Um, excuse the shrink wrap, she's all wrapped up because I want to make sure she stays nice and dry, no moisture. Uh, but if you can, you can kind of make out those shiny new pistons in there. This, this block has been worked over uh, by the guys over at uh, Gulf Tech Engines, my guy Robbie. And uh, she is ready to be assembled so we can put the uh, long block together, slap on the heads, slap on the blower, cam, and uh, get this thing cranking, guys. So I've got my, uh, my engine horse set up here. I'm gonna take this off and uh, she's gonna go over here for right now because I, I, I need to get an engine stand. My engine stand is being used by another engine, so I'm just gonna put her for now on this creeper and um, she'll sit there until I can get it on the engine stand uh, and I just want to get off the back of the truck. So, but, uh, so that's what I'm working on. All right, guys, mission accomplished. We got the, uh, the four way unloaded and, uh, in it's uh, new home over here. There she is nestled in there. Nice and comfy. So, uh, like I said, stay tuned guys. We're going to, uh, be sending you more updates on the Z01 C10. Um, uh, so keep it locked here to the channel, guys, for more updates. Uh, as usual, guys, if you are new to the channel, you know the routine. Uh, please consider subscribing. Also, on your way out, be sure to tap that like button for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.